second to last one that I have written down is to hit 100,000 YouTube subscribers by next December. That's a big goal. I have like 6,000 right now. I'm really gonna be putting a lot more focus into my YouTube channel because this is one of my favorite ways to interact with you guys. And I'm gonna be putting a lot more focus into that and I want to reach a lot, a lot more people. Which brings me to my last and final goal for 2016 is to change more people's lives and remember that my goals for myself are meaningless if I'm not helping others reach their goals. Where's my surprise party? There's no balloons? Ooh, no pinata? There's no people? Is anybody excited? What's going on guys? Welcome to today's video. You guys just saw a clip that I filmed way back in January. It is now August 22nd. If you guys are also new, welcome to the channel. Thank you guys so much for being here. I know a lot of you guys are new to the channel, so just a quick brief what my channel is all about. I do lifestyle vlogging, I do fitness stuff, you'll see my workouts, you'll see what I'm eating during the day, what my friends are like, and I like sharing everything that I'm doing, but I am a bikini competitor, I'm gonna be a powerlifter in the future. I just live the fitness lifestyle and I like to share my life with you guys. I put a lot of time and effort into making my videos in Formative. I also put a lot of effort into making myself and my videos really honest with you guys. I think that those things in combination are what accumulated to me reaching the 100,000 subscriber mark. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it and I think it's really cool. So I, for this video, I'm going to do a Q&A so the people who are new who are watching can get to know me a little bit better, get to know what the channel is more about, and also I'm going to be doing a giveaway at the end of the video. So really quick, I'm going to show you guys what I did during the weekend with a little bit of a voiceover and then I'm gonna go into the question and answer section. So stay tuned, watch the whole video, give the video a thumbs up for me, it really helps me out, it really helps support the channel. I'm gonna get to the rest of the video and to the questions, hang around until the end so you can find out what is going to be happening for the giveaway. Good morning guys, today is Saturday, August 20th, and I am headed to the Boston Pardomas workshop. I'm super excited. It has been quite some time since I've done a workshop. I think the last one was in DC, which was a few months ago. So I'm excited to show you guys what we're doing today. I'm still on prep. I'm two weeks out officially as of today is Saturday, yeah. Two weeks out for my next show. So I'm still on prep. I have all my meals packed with me, ready to go. And yeah, let's get the day started. Oh, that's right. Weeks. Hey, Emily's that's right. here. Hello. Say hi. Focus. So and this days. is okay. the cutest puppy in the I whole world. Know. Hello. This is Marcus and Elle's puppy Wally. Hi. He likes the camera. Oh, you like the camera? Oh, Maverick's here too. Hi, buddy. Oh, gosh. What's up, Maverick? So cute. We have another mascot. Wally. Hi! Oh. <laughs> Alright guys, so this was the start of my weekend. Part of what I do for work is I travel around the country and do these workshops with a company called the Pardomas. You guys will be hearing way more about that when I go to Vegas for the Olympia, but I will save it for then to elaborate on it. But here we are. I had my protein waffles with me and we also got Chipotle catered for this particular workshop. This is Elle's boyfriend Marcus. He's also one of our athletes. He's tracking his Chipotle into his macros. Um, I think I just took some of the lettuce and the vegetables and I did not take the chips as much as I wanted them but I'm still on prep so I just had some veggies and salsa and lettuce and I had that for my lunch. So this is what part of our workshop looks like. We do a photo shoot as part of our workshop and I didn't film the rest of the workshop but um, I did have to do a workout this day and I had to do hit cardio and because I was traveling I had to do some running for my sport for my regular cardio the day prior. So my shin splints were really killer. I had to do um, battle ropes for my hit cardio this day. So I did the battle ropes, it actually felt really good and I'm in the dark because the gym turned the lights off on us but it's okay, we got our workout in anyway because we're bosses. And moving on to the next day, we were in Central Park for the next part of our workshop. Um, we actually traveled that night from Boston to New York City, and I, we did our next workshop in New York because we're still on the East Coast. So we had a, a lot of awesome girls here at this New York workshop. You guys are seeing everybody 
come to the workshop and it was really a great experience being in the middle of Central Park. It was awesome. A lot of cool scenery. Um, we got to do a lot of things and it was really fun. And then in the next clip, you guys are going to see a special guest coming to the workshop um, who also lives in New York. He's one of the Alpha Lee athletes. That's how I met him through Emily Hayden. And him and his wife, Brittany, came to stop by and see what the workshop's all about. So good. Yeah, I, do I can't wait to have some. Like, um, yeah. Have you tried the cinnamon toast crunch? Because uh, Reese, I... Reese's Puffs, these two came into town for the workshop. This is Maddie Pissarro and his wife, Brittany Pissarro. And they um, live in Long Island. Yes. Yes. So they live in New York. They wanted to come to the workshop, see what it's all about. And they actually had a really cool time and yes, really awesome. exciting. So um, Maddie has a YouTube channel and his YouTube channel is awesome. He's a competitor as well. He's a week out from his show. He knows the whole deal. He's really smart. has a lot of informative content on the channel. And Brittany's on the channel as well. You have your own channel? Yes. Yeah, she has her own channel as well. They will both be in the description box. So tell uh, a little bit about what you guys do. We good? Roll. Yes. All right, so pretty much what we do as far as work goes is online coaching, which a lot of other people do. We mm -hmm. also have sponsorships and we have Sponsorships YouTube, with Alpha Lee. Alpha Lee, that's right. Yeah, that's um, how I met you because of Emily and Alpha yes, Lee. Right. Yes, Emily. Yes. And uh, yeah, the online coaching is the main thing. Yeah. And really trying to take time. Now, Brittany, you started your channel like... February, Just February, oh, March. Really? When I, yeah, when I first started cutting back in February, so yeah, they've been, it's only been up together and going for a few months, but it's going good. It's, it's going getting well, there, and we'll see them again, hopefully yes. at the Olympia. Olympia. Yeah. They're they're saying yes now. They were skeptical before, yeah. but now they're like, now, now we're yeah, we're going. Yeah, so we can't. Yeah, so now we can't. Now, go. yeah, now so we'll see you guys at the Olympia. Olympia. We're holding into it. <laughs> Around Christmas time? Oh, wow. So it's been a while. I should have. Right. Maverick. Sit. Uh -huh. Yeah. Look at these bags in my eyes right now. At the airport, there's. Are you not flexing? Flex. Oh, I said focusing. But I oh, flex oh. Too. oh, I thought you said I'm not flexing right now. <laughs> um, I'm like tired, but I'm feeling like my heart's beating really fast from the coffee, but I'm still really tired. So I'm like that meme that's like just sitting there when the caffeine hits you and trying not to die. <laughs> the skeleton. <laughs> Okay, this is a good question. A couple people asked this in a different variation, but the question is, what is your favorite like cheat meal? And we hate using that word, but Emily put it a good way on Twitter the other day and said, what is the last meal you would eat if you had one meal left to eat? What's yours? Definitely would have to be one of the best burgers that I've ever had with sweet potato fries, and then I would have to have dessert, something like a pizookie with ice cream. Ice cream has to be involved, and so does either like a gooey cookie or a gooey brownie. We have the same taste buds. And um, my friend Ari posted on Twitter the other day and on Snapchat that she ate a donut burger. So that's Maybe probably you can screenshot that and like put it right here. Yeah, I'm gonna screenshot it and put it here. That's probably like encompassing exactly what I want to eat. <laughs> like if I had like a sweet and salty thing at the same time. Perfect. Donut burger. 100 percent Comment yours. I wanna hear all oh, of yours. Yes, that's a good thing. Comment your last meal you would ever want to eat. Because maybe you'll give us a good idea and then we'll go eat it. And then we'll go figure it out. Anyone who says that you can't track your macros while you're traveling and it's difficult, you know what? It's really not that difficult. I literally just went to Moe's and I got lettuce, cucumbers, and a side of chicken. And I can like weigh the chicken. And that's it. Emily got something that's she's not tracking, but it was just the yeah, same thing. Just yeah. wing. Estimating though, like estimating as well as I can without a scale. Yeah. All right. So Emily and I are currently at our layover in Dallas. I have a decaf coffee because I just had a salad. I wanted something sweet, so I got a decaf coffee with stevia and a caramel shot in it that's like zero calories. I'm going to answer two more questions during this layover just because they're appropriate. The first question was, what is my travel schedule for the rest of the year? And what's upcoming immediately is that when I get home, I will be home for a few days and this upcoming weekend I'm going to be at the Anaheim Fit Expo. So if you guys are going to the Anaheim Fit Expo, I will be there. I will be at the Toxic Angel Bikinis booth. Um, just check my Snapchat for exact times because I'm not 100% sure yet. The weekend after that, it's not that I'm traveling very far, but I am going to San Diego for 
for my next show. Um, it is on September 3rd, so that is my next show. I'm traveling to San Diego. The weekend after that, I'm actually headed back to the East Coast to Rhode Island for my sister's pageant. She's competing in the Miss Rhode Island pageant and I did not want to miss that because that's a big deal and she's been preparing for it for quite a while. The weekend after that is the Olympia weekend. I will be in Vegas from Wednesday through um, Monday, our flight is. Wednesday and Thursday I'm going to be spending with the Pardomas. We have a big project coming up. We have a, a, a big important shoot and then we also have a workshop then. So if you guys are interested or you're coming to the Olympia and you'll be there on Thursday, make sure that you don't uh, miss out on our workshop because that's going to be our biggest workshop. It's going to be our best one yet. After that, October. Um, I haven't 100% planned this yet, but in October I am thinking about going to Vancouver because I do have friends that live there and I would like to go visit for a few days, so I might be doing that. At the end of October I'm doing two things. This is a long list. It's not even done. <laughs> at the end of October I'm going to Sacramento for a bodybuilding.com shoot at the um, super training gym in Sacramento. And then I think the weekend after that I'm going to be in New York again. Javon hasn't announced it, but um, but he is doing another YouTubers retreat in New York City for Halloween. We'll come out with details very soon, so don't uh, hold me to that just in case something happens to happen, but I'm pretty sure it's 99% happening. I think the only thing I have for November is Miami. Are you gonna go to Miami? I wanna try, yeah. Yeah, I wanna go. It'll be fun. We're doing a Pardomas workshop in Miami. And a few weeks after that, I'm going back to Florida. Interestingly enough for my coach um, William is having a big camp in Florida He's in Tampa and he asked me to speak at it for all of his clients And then it's gonna be just like a fun team weekend with all of his clients and stuff So and then in 2017 we're gonna plan I know I'm <laughs> going everywhere man <laughs> And then the next question is really appropriate for this um, in 2017. I'm going to Australia no matter what um, I don't know what for, what, with what company, probably Pardomas, but I'm gonna be there, it doesn't matter. And then I wanna go to Europe, and that's all I have 100% planned. The next question is appropriate, and it said, with all of your traveling and your busy schedule, when do you turn off and how do you relax? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> After that five minute long list of what I'm doing for the next few months. What I like to do to relax, honestly, like this past weekend in New York, everybody was going out after to get dinner and like, I was still on prep too, but I just really needed to like, put my headphones on and clear my head and go work out. Going to work out is my escape, it's like my stress relief, it just makes me feel relaxed, it makes me feel at peace, it makes me feel so much less stressed. Um, it always has been. It's always been my release for any stress buildup. So I really like to do that. I do make sure to get massages. I make sure to spend some time relaxing, like whether it be taking a nap, laying by the pool, just like sitting and hanging out with friends, things like that. When I am home and I do have that downtime, I make sure I take advantage of it. Alrighty, so I'm finally back home in California. It felt so, so, so good to get home. I just got a cardio session in at the Mecca and like I could not be happier like I just said in the last clip. So moving on to another question. What is my favorite gym song currently and then what playlist do I recommend? I've been working on making a Spotify playlist for you guys because I want a way, a lot of you guys ask me like where I get my music and stuff and the music that's in my YouTube videos is usually a non-copyrighted or like a really, really remixed song. So those aren't usually the songs that I'm listening to in the gym. Um, I try to get those songs into my YouTube videos but the copyright claims are really difficult nowadays with YouTube so I try to stay away from that but if you guys are interested in my music and you like it um, I do have a Spotify playlist you can just search my name another thing that you can do is go on SoundCloud and I'm one of my favorite number one playlists like if I'm having a really draggy day and I have to go kill a cardio session or something this playlist um, I'm gonna write it on the screen it's gonna be it's gonna be right here on the screen this playlist is like my number one favorite playlist so it's like an EDM house like really angry like trap um, a lot of like really good beat drops like every minute on the minute There's like a lot of buildup and a lot of beat dropping and like that's my favorite favorite kind of music Especially for like getting through a good lift session or cardio session Someone asked what does your spine tattoo say? So if you guys don't know I do have one tattoo it goes down my spine It says my ambition is my weaponry and that quote really stuck with me when I first heard it It's part of a Nikki Heaton song called I'm ready I'll look up the song It's a really amazing song and I never thought that I wanted a tattoo But once I heard those lyrics, I was like I think I need that tattooed on my body It just really really resonated with me it like it like describes who I am. My ambition is my weaponry. I'm super ambitious in everything that I do and that is what is getting me through life. So someone asked a question about cardio. A lot of people actually asked about cardio. That was like three or four questions at least about cardio and how much cardio to do in the in season and in off season. 
and if you have to do cardio in order to lose body fat. So cardio, there's two reasons to do cardio. Number one, increase your cardiovascular endurance, increase your health, um, make sure that your heart is pumping efficiently, pumping blood efficiently, cardio is really great for your health and that is obviously the number one reason to do cardio. The number two reason to do cardio is for aesthetic purposes and decreasing your caloric deficit. There's two ways to eat. decrease your caloric deficit and that is number one, by eating less calories total. When you're in a cut, you slowly decrease your calories, but obviously getting to a point where you're decreasing your calories too much can be um, not as beneficial for your health. So you have to kind of do a balance of both, adding in cardio as a supplement to your weight training in order to decrease your caloric deficit and also decreasing your calorie intake at the same time. Every person is really individual. There's some people that don't have to do any cardio at all and they can still lose body fat at a, at a good rate without having to do any cardio. But if you aren't one of those people, you might be having to add in a couple cardio sessions a week, adding in like 10 extra minutes of HIIT cardio to your cardio sessions. And in terms of cardio during the off season, I personally slowly back off of cardio as I'm ending my cut. My body can like adapt to not having any cardio in order for my body to not be adapted to that cardio when I'm starting another cut. It's not totally necessary to do cardio during the off season. You don't have to. I actually kind of enjoy it, so I think I'm going to be keeping it in a little bit during this off season, but um, it's not necessary to answer your question. Where did I do the research for my ebook? Um, if you guys don't know, I do have an ebook called The Everything Guide to Macro Tracking. It tells you everything about how to track your macronutrients. It, there's also a link in my description box for the ebook. But in terms of doing research and figuring out how all of that information came about, I'm just really like a person that needs to know why as opposed to just like someone telling me to do something and I do it. I need to know the reasons why. Whenever I was first starting, I coached myself through a few preps and if I didn't know the answer to something, I would go look it up. A good place to look up information, number one, first and foremost, is always, I'm always going to recommend bodybuilding.com. Represent. <laughs> you can literally search anything on bodybuilding.com. You can go to the search bar and type in any information you want to know and there's like thousands and thousands of articles and forums and things like that. Another good resource to go on is examine.com. It'll give you the research articles for certain things that you're looking for. So if you type in like any supplement, you can see like the research articles as to what studies were done behind those supplements and what actually is factual and scientific. I looked up a lot of videos on YouTube. A lot of good people that have like informational YouTube videos include Lane Norton, Matt Ogus is really good, Omar Isuf, and Brandon Teets. Those are the four guys that I would recommend for informational YouTube videos on like macros, fitness, training, things like that. And something else that I'm super, super excited about to announce to you guys that might be following me and already know, I am actually now an affiliate with a company called Avatar Nutrition. This is a website that Lane Norton, the guy that I learned literally everything from, he created this website. It is essentially an, an automated online coach. This website will not only give you your starting macros for you, but it will continue to adjust your macros as you progress. So there's actually a link in my description box that you guys can go to in order to sign up and that link will be like through like my, my affiliate link kind of thing. If you sign up, it's $10 a month. It's, it's basically an online coach for those who can't afford online coaching. I also linked in my description box for this video a few online coaches that I do recommend and their emails, so if you guys are interested in actually getting online coaching, you can go ahead and do that as well. All right, we're gonna do two more questions. The first question that I'm gonna do is Anya Orlov, who came to the Boston workshop, sorry, the New York workshop, and she asked, what do you see yourself doing besides competing in the future? Do you see yourself doing that long term? And guys, competing for me is not a career. You don't make money through competing unless you get to the pro stage and you are placing in like the top five and then you get a little bit of money, but it's really not, it's a hobby. It's not something that I make my career out of. So there are a lot of other business ventures that I do have in mind for the future. And even though social media and YouTube and things like that, um, they might not eventually be around forever and I can't make YouTube videos every single day for the rest of my life as much as I would want to. Um, there's a lot of other ways that I am focusing on like creating income, creating a career and doing that with my passion for fitness. So stay tuned, there's a lot of things in the works, don't worry about it. For my last but not least question, what is the best advice to give to someone in 10 words or less and I'm not gonna lie, I totally looked up some quotes online. <laughs> Something that I think relates to this video is, life begins at the end of your comfort zone. 
I was not comfortable ever talking in front of a camera, talking in front of large groups of people, talking in general. It was just like I was, I've was i never been good at it. So when I first started YouTube, I was really nervous. I did not want people to like think that I was weird or stumble upon my words, things like that. But over time, I've gotten better and I got out of my comfort zone and every single amazing thing that's happened in my life is because I got out of my comfort zone. I went on and did things by myself, something that I wasn't comfortable with doing, I moved across the country. Every single thing I did in my life that has made it what it is today and has made it so amazing is because I got out of my comfort zone. So that being said, ending the video here, quickly below, I'm going to do a giveaway for this video, 100,000 subscribers, I appreciate you guys, I wanna show you that. So, we're gonna do two things, a $100 gift card to bodybuilding.com. They have this cute sweatshirt if y'all are interested. Um, I just got it, so I really like it. But, a $100 gift card to bodybuilding.com and then we're also gonna do one PE Science product giveaway. The PE Science is my supplement company, so, so go ahead and comment below. Comment with like your normal comment that you would have normally commented on this YouTube video, but also say uh, that you wanna enter the giveaway and where you're from. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching, for subscribing, for supporting the channel. I really appreciate it. I think it's really cool that there's so many people here watching and like getting up and spending their morning with me watching my videos and stuff. I think it's awesome and I'm still like a normal person. So when people come up to me and tell me that they think it's amazing that like they get to meet me and stuff. I'm like, I think it's amazing that I get to meet you. So thank you guys so much for being here. I totally appreciate it. I just want to keep reminding you guys that like you guys motivate me. You guys change my life. So you inspire me. So um, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you so much.